Jason Mulligan, the owner of Rising River Brewing, is here to talk about Lakeside Lager Beer Festival, which isn't happening till October, uh, but you brought some great stuff, some great candles that I can't, <laughs> the smell is I amazing. Know. Uh, just amazing. Welcome. It's nice to have Thank you, Jason. You. Yeah, thanks it, for coming back. So let's talk a little bit about this beer festival. Yeah, so it's our first one. Um, you know, we've been open for a year now, so I wanted to kind of dive into some other things. Um, we've done beer fest uh, when I was at Voodoo um, years ago. I've been to beer fest over the years. So I kind of wanted to bring something to Clinton Lake that they never had. So this will be Clinton Lake's first beer mm. festival this year. So. And do you find in October when the weather starts to cool off, people really love this? Because you, you hear about beer fest, but mm -hmm. then the fall a lot. It kind of feels right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people do it in the summer and try to get, you know, more different types of beers. But now that we're doing the fall, we can kind of get into the pumpkin beers and kind of want to bring loggers into yeah, the. Right. Explain what a logger is. Um, so a lager is a different type of yeast that you use for uh, pilsners or lagers that ferment at a colder temperature. So if you're thinking about like a Bud Light, unfortunately, it's uh, a lager yeast. It's a pilsner. So okay. um, a lot of people don't know that. They just think it's an ale. A lot of the beers are ales, mm -hmm. but um, a lager is just fermented a little bit colder and a little okay, bit crisper. A little bit differently. Yeah. So this uh, festival is held at the Hotel Kanye, which is beautiful. Yes. Uh, Hotel Kanye actually has a new owner. Um, they've been doing a ton of renovations, great renovations. Um, so once you come in there, they did the um, the ballrooms different? Uh, a couple other rooms are different. The bar in there is totally renovated, so the whole thing is looking great. So mm -hmm. um, it's it's a great vibe for Clinton Lake. Yeah. That and do you this. have other breweries that are be going to be coming in to take part in this? Yeah. So we've reached out to about 30 breweries. We've got some confirmed already. Um, so we have uh, Lavery Brewery here in Erie, mm -hmm. um, Old Thunder Brewing in Pittsburgh. Cellar Works Brewing in Sarver, North Country Brewing in Slippery Rock. Um, we have Sherman Street Brewing in Allentown. Mm -hmm. So our other location that's in like the Philly area, Allentown area, mm -hmm. we try to get some of those breweries over here as well since we have good relationships with them. Um, Trails of Ales in Franklin, Riverside in Cambridge, Seven Sirens Brewing in Bethlehem, which is on the other side of the state. We have Hijinks in uh, Allentown as well. And I actually reached out to a couple of um, distilleries and wineries as well because I'm trying to bring some other mm -hmm. alcohol. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Not everyone likes beer, so I right. want to bring other things other that things. maybe other people like. So. Yeah. And what do you plan to feature? Uh -huh. um, a couple of our pumpkin beers mm -hmm. and our Oktoberfest and Mars and beer um, we'll be having there. So of I'm trying to tell people to bring lagers, but again, not everybody. Yeah as a lager, but if you release, bring one and Good another variety. beer. Yeah, exactly. You're also known for your great food. We love Chef Eric when he comes on <laughs> yeah. and joins us. But these candles, tell we us about these. these. They're off. beautiful. Yeah, so we actually have mm. uh, two bartenders that work for us. They have a candle company, and we also have a ceramic vendor that she does these mugs for us. And once she does the mugs, um, we give them to the bar bartenders, and they fill them with their delightful candles that you see here now. So weird. It smells so, so good. Those personalized Erie News Now mugs. That's yeah. fantastic. Yes, oh, we nice. appreciate it. And you've got a lot of other great things uh, there as well at Rising River, t-shirts, all kinds of good little All the good swag. <laughs> yeah, Little White Kitchen Candle Company is the one who did the candles okay. and Walking Tree Ceramics is the one who did the mug for us. So Beautiful. we sell a ton of candles at the brewery. It's kind of crazy. I love I it. Yeah. <laughs> the Beer Fest is coming up Saturday, October 19th. So mark your calendar now. Tickets can, can yeah, be Yeah, tickets are right on. Now? Yeah, I gave okay. I have a uh, link um, and a QR code for it. Um, you can buy tickets now. You can buy them at the door as well. So. Great. Perfect. All right. It's great to have you. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you, ladies. Good, Appreciate Good to it. show you.